Hello, Harley Benton fans. Henning Pauli here again with another review of a Harley Benton guitar. A um, couple of things. You might have heard it if you've seen another review. Um, the big stack of Warwick bass caps there is to hide Leslie, who's sleeping on the couch. She wanted us to hang around, so hey, Warwick provides the wall. 
the Warwick Wall. Warwick Wall, Warwick Wall. Um, I hate polo shirts, but the other Toman shirt had dark hair on it for some reason, and a lot of cat hair too. So, hey. Um, uh, to get a couple of stuff out, a couple of stuff, couple of things out of the way, am I getting paid by Toman for these reviews? No, I'm not. They sent me the guitars. I can present them to you. Maybe I get to keep one, but that's all the payment I get. Crap, because they're really cheap guitars. Not earning a lot, but hopefully you use the links under the video if you're interested in the guitar to buy it. Then I get some rewards points at Toman to buy more shit to show to you. Um, I do reviews for Toman for the website. I get paid for these, but that's a totally different issue. Um, I've just been asked two minutes ago on one of the uh, guitar videos um, if I could show what I do to them when they arrive so that they are set up the way that you see them here. Um, completely, 100% honestly, I do nothing. The guy said, uh, usually you hear that they're set up very well, but the guitars that he's gotten were not. So I must be doing something to them. I'm sorry that yours were not set up well, but I, I seriously do nothing. I take them out of the box, I play them the way they are. Because if I had to do something to them and then I present to you a guitar that I worked on, uh, that's, not a, that's not a fair demo. That's, uh, that's I buy something and then I alter it. It's like, okay, I put in different pickups and I repaint it. What's the point? No, um, Toman actually unboxes every single guitar that comes from China and checks and sets it up themselves at the warehouse. I've met the guy who does it. Maybe sometimes they sit around for a bit. Maybe weather does something to it, even though their warehouse is climatized and has things that, you know, protect the guitars. So I don't know. But um, the guitars you see here are the way they come out of the box, and that's it. Um, so, again, if you want to buy, please use my link. This is the TE. I cannot call it a Telecaster because the big F is going to kick my ass. So it's not a Telecaster. This is the not Telecaster. They would call it a thin line, um, which was a term introduced back in the day for the hollow body kind of design. It has a big sustain block in the middle, uh, so it's not a semi-acoustic. Um, these chambers, let me see how far they go without breaking my fingers. I'm going to finger this guitar a bit. Oh, they're rather big. <laughs> yeah. So the chambers are here. Big F-holes. F-holes! I don't know. Um, and we have a very solid bridge on here. Wilkinson P90s. It's, uh, uh, the top is a very beautiful QM, quilted maple. In red, you get this guitar in quilted maple blue as well. Problem with the blue is it's probably so dark that you don't really see the beautiful quilt. And obviously this is a veneer. The guitar is a nice um, rounded off top. It's got a bolt on no nice neck joint here, uh, bulky neck joint, uh, bolt on neck, which is actually a one piece neck and head headstock. So nothing in this area glued on as you sometimes have because it's straight. If it was angled, you would probably have it glued on here. So it's straight. They can use one piece of wood. That's maple with a don't ask me something rosewoody kind of wood. Um, Mother of Pearl inlays. Now whether these are real, they're probably real, it's probably stupid to make these out of plastic and fake. Um, when it comes to flaws on this guitar, well don't look into the F-holes because it's not perfectly, I don't know if you probably can see this, it's not perfectly painted in there, yeah, there you can see it. There you can see that there's some paint missing from the, the like some black paint. So inside the F-hole it's not super pretty, but when do you actually look into the F-holes? And you can possibly see here, right there on the fretboard, there are some spots. Inconsistencies in the wood, maybe some acid or something dropped onto there. I don't know, it looks like some drops of something got on the wood. Um, but as I said, in a different... As I said in, a diff in the uh, uh, SE550 review, 
what matters on these guitars? Well, for a guitar worth, I think it's 180 bucks. <laughs> Seriously, 180 bucks? What matters? Is it tunable? Because then we're talking about either kids, hobby musicians, or I don't know who plays this, people that want a good deal. Um, but every guitar has to have certain features. First of all, does it look good? Well, fuck yeah. If you buy this in boutique or handmade or whatever, this guitar would be three, four thousand bucks. Um, obviously, blah, 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 better woods and amazing pickups and all this. Um, is it tunable? So what are the two? The tuners are completely no name. We don't know. Um, but uh, yes, it is tunable. They use different brands on different Harley Benton guitars. So they're not all the same. You can't say Harley Benton guitars are beautifully tunable. Um, let's test this. I'm going to detune the D string. Yeah, not as good as the CST 24HB. Works. I'm there. Get yourself a polyton clip. It's freaking 50 bucks, but it's absolutely freaking worth it. Come on, look at this. Oops. Ah, I was going to twist it, which you can't do with a polyton clip. That's the one thing that sucks about it. With a polyton clip, you don't have to do this. You don't have to go through all the strings. All you can do is this. Now it's showing me that the E string should be slightly higher. I think we're good. Good. So polytune clip, definitely worth it. Um, it's tunable. Uh, intonation. It's there. How easily is it adjustable? Well, that bridge looks as if you have a lot of options there, more than on, on a traditional T-style guitar. How does it play when it comes out of the box? Well, great. Um, Fret ends. Beautiful. Nothing sticks out. They even capped off the sides with, I don't know what that is. Can you see that? They capped off the sides. Um, this is string through body. So you have the nice string edgy things. I had a two and a half thousand euro guitar where these actually stuck out and I had to go and take a spoon and actually push them into the wood. Two and a half thousand euro. 180, I don't have to do that. So it's um, beautiful. I, I don't even know what, what that is. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go ahead and say it looks like mahogany to me. Don't nail me down on that. So um, let's listen to it. We're going into the Clons amp, which can kind of change its uh, sound. So right now it's set on a, a clean black facey kind of thing. Um, I have a Devil Drive from Solid Gold Effects in front of it. Uh, for some drive, and I have an even tight H9 in the effects loop for some reverb and stuff. Um, okay, so uh, that's going into the basement into a 112 uh, hot rod cab uh, from Fender. Uh, Mike with the center as an E609 going up here into the Universal Audio 4710D preamp. Amp seems to be a little bit hot. We have a little bit of buzz because. These are single coil type pickups. This guitar is not very bright. It doesn't have a lot of sparkle like you would expect from a T-style guitar. Um, it's very round and pillowy. Kind of, you know, sleepy time guitar. I have a feeling that the high E string is dropping down in, in volume a little bit. Doesn't have the same impact. Like all Harley Benton guitars, the playability, I, I feel comfortable on them. A lot 
lot more spark as you can hear. Some reverb spring from the H9. Again, the high E string kind of disappears a little bit in, compared to Im Vergleich. I was, was going to say Im Vergleich, that's German. Uh, compared to the other ones. Ah! Let's crank some Devil Drive in front of that with a little bit of gain. Let's switch the channels on the clown's amp. Oopsie. very in the front even more let's crank it with the devil drive So, uh, well, there you go. You've heard it. You've seen it. Let's wrap this up in my two cents. So, bottom line, after playing with the TE90QM for about uh, 12 weeks, three months, I can't say months. Um, personally, the... T-style models out of the Harley Benton line are not the ones that are flashing and impressing me the most. That said, 179, 179 euro is insane for this guitar. Visually, it's stunning. It does its job. It's a little bit too dull, meaning um, not a lot of high end, not a lot of clarity in the higher frequencies uh, for me. Um, which I would expect from a T-style guitar. I'm not allowed to say Telecaster. So, Fender, I'm not saying Telecaster. That I'm saying it is not a Telecaster. I'm allowed to say that, right? Um, but then again, 179 bucks. if you're a beginner or you just want to add a, a, a thin line with P90s, which is a very special kind of combination, um, you can't go wrong. I just have a feeling that some of these guitars, like the SC550, you know, I'm a fan of that, and some others, you take them out of the box and they have they have some soul. They uh, they jump on you and they want to play. And these feel colder to me. I can't exp They feel more sterile in a way. That's it. But it's just a feeling. This you can't 
pinpoint anything and say this is why. Um, why these are so cheap? I will say this in every single video. Buying directly from China cuts out the middleman. It cuts out the company that deals with China, cuts out their distributor. So there's two people that want to make money on this that are not making money on it because Harley Benton is going directly with their development team and they have a team actually in Denmark and they know their shit. Lasse, you know your shit. Um, they're going to uh, China, they find the factory, so this is out of a different factory than this one and this one, so they find the perfect people to make that type of guitar, and that simply cuts the cost down quite a bit. Um, and I know, and that goes for all these guitars here, not a single other brand that in this price range, which is really the lowest price range we can find for electric guitars, can compete with Harley Benton. I will vouch for this. No, I'm not being paid for this. If I'm lucky, I get to keep this one. I hope so. Um, and the beat bass. Uh, but this is all I'm getting for this. They, they go back. I, I present these to you because you like Harley Benton demos, okay? So, uh, 179. Again, I'm not insanely impressed with it, but for the price, if you're looking for a thin line, hollow body, P90 guitar that looks great, is set up and you know doesn't feel like a kiddie guitar, completely unbeatable.